side from the kick in. Asprey. Now Gordis. Decides to kick along the line. And a push out. Now it's a block. There is. Against Graham. It'll go to Warnock. Play on. Off to Russell. Yours. Who drives it inside, attacking 50. Henderson at the back. Good fist, though, from Moore. Betts and Judd combined. Judd tries to bring it back. That was a clever kick, and Garlett kicks the goal. Now, the quarter only a couple of minutes old, but already Carlton really pressing hard and Garlett with the goal, his second goal of the afternoon clever combination by Betts and Judd getting it to him. Oh that's a, that's a class finish inside 50 from Chris Judd just spotting it over the top and that's where O'Reilly had the job on Betts and uh, th that's a dangerous matchup because he's far too nimble and they'll get him out the back Sensational player Eddie Betts but watch his goal kicking runs out to the right and then pulls the ball across his body. Uh, he's kicked 39-26 this year. I think that's something he has to look at in the off-season because uh, you're asking for trouble when you've got a set-up like that. Wow. Wow. Hadley fed it out to Judd. And as the Blues go back inside 50, and again, oh, beautiful delivery by Judd, but Henderson couldn't hang on to the mark. Wow. Handball comes to O'Reilly. Good tackle by Garland. It was a beauty. And he's been rewarded. Big tackle from a little man. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, well, the, right, the right arm just over the shoulder there. He might have been a bit lucky. And a uh, pass to Betts. He's also spilt the beans. What is going on out there? <laughs> it is swirly, though. It cuts some play the players some slack. It is uh, pretty windy out. There yeah, this afternoon, pretty swirly always at the MCG. So we've got a ball up inside, the Blues attacking 50. Betts and Garlett are looking ominous though for the Blues inside 50. Warnock the tap, Judd to Scotland. Shrugs the tackle, back to Russell, stripped of the ball. Newman with his head over it. What are the conditions like? down there Andy? Yeah it's one of those classic MCG days. Uh, Lordy the wind you know what it's like down here it heads in a whole lot of different directions. There's funny little channels where the wind is sort of strong heading towards one goal then it might be on the other side of the ground so it's totally unpredictable. Good tackle by Tuck on Scotland. The ball tied up again. So 12 scoring shots to four. The margin 18 points in favour of the Blues. Just get the sense though, they, they start putting it together, they can run away with this game. Chance for Edwards, close quarters to Tuck, put him out of the pump. Jackson, Nason, forced just to kick haphazardly towards the wing. Out comes Post, he can't control it, numbers with the Blues. Mopped up by Gibbs. Got a couple of players in support. Bauer, now Scotland, so Opportunity here for Carlton as Scotland kicks towards Henderson who gathers well on the bounce. Can't get the handball off. That was a great tackle by Delidio. Carazzo backtracking. Just hoists it high. Wants a contest and perhaps the small forwards to get involved. Morton can't take the mark. Wait. And Gordis at the bottom of the pack fighting for the ball and we'll get a bounce. 25 metres from Carlton's goal. Thanks, Debbie. Jake King testing out that dodgy ankle. It's okay. A bounce deep inside Carlton's attacking 50. Simpson was the third man up, but doing the roving is Edwards. Kicks straight to Russell, can't take the mark. Sport by Collins. But uh, Russell grabs the ball at ground level. Off to Scotland. To Bauer, to Gibbs to Murphy. And Murphy pumps it long. Henderson from the side can't mark. Richmond defence under pressure here. Gordas slow, gone. Absolutely gone cold. And going back to have a shot at goal will be Henderson. Good effort from Henderson. He's been sore from a previous contest. There's one tackle, gets back on Gordas. He would now not have played a game at the level of this, obviously, being his first game of AFL footy. But the pace from VFL to AFL is dramatic. 
the increase. And Henderson, fantastic tackle. He should be setting himself for a massive game today, Henderson. He's outsized. You know, he'd be too strong for most of the Richmond defenders, and these are goals he must kick. Lockie Henderson for goal number two this afternoon. From directly in front, 15 metres out from goal. Ominous signs now for the Tigers. One of the inside 50s, boys. So 23 to 12. So 11 in favour of the Blues at the moment. All I need to do is kick straight, and she'll be over at half time the way it's going. You think for the sake of Carlton and their final series ahead, that should be a massive win today. The dominance of the Blues. In this second quarter, eight inside 50s to zero to the Tigers. Just shows the pressure's up and about, winning the centre clearances. It's a matter of them getting their forward structure right. Henderson and Waite have to be one presenting across half forward, the other one deep out of the goal square. They've dominated out of the centre as well. Ellard to Hadley. Garlett got a hand in, couldn't complete the mark. Connors, now they've got the numbers here. Richmond, can they take the ball away? No, they do well in combination the Blues to tie the ball up and force a bounce the attacking side of their wing the dominance so profound they haven't had a possession forward of centre Richmond this quarter Tuck, Martin some heavy work in there oh, I'm not sure about the Jackson kick Brown, Tuck, Connors no oh, he's got nowhere to go back to Tuck all their possessions under pressure Tuck's handball intended for Nason, and they sweep it away. Judd to Armfield. Not a great handball. Now it puts Davies under the pump, and he takes it to the line. So well done, certainly on that occasion, by Richmond just to apply some pressure. Forced the boundary throw in at, at the half forward, and well played by big Sean Hampson there. So Brown. And ball going nowhere, so another bounce. At least they're inside their attacking 50, the Tigers, with an opportunity, perhaps. Yes, now out to 23 inside 50, so the Blues, 13 to Carlton. They have to take a chance here inside 50, Richmond, because they're not getting too many of them. Greg to Gibbs, to Murphy, to Carazzo. Too easy out of defence. Long ball to the 50. Henderson again. Might have got one a little bit high. Good handball, good recovery from Henderson to Simpson. Kicks into the pocket, lurking his bets, gathered by weight. Handball's backwards to Henderson. Has to pick it up at the toes, did well, back to Carazzo. Carazzo into the pocket, Betts will mark. No, free kick, no, play on. And it's out of bounds. Yeah, he wanted the free, but none forthcoming. Here we go. <laughs> oh, well, that's a good solid oh, piece I, of defence. No, I think he had his hand right in the middle of his back. Yeah. Left hand. So throw it in the forward pocket. Carazzo. Back to Hadley, running out of room. Good handball. Back to Simpson. Murphy, Scotland. Finds some space on the left. That is exquisite skill. Will it have the carry? No, not quite. Rush behind. Great kick on either side. Heath Scotland having another ripping year. It is the Blues by 25 points. So Brett Deledio at full back. Again, Carlton zoning up. Chris Judd takes a breather. Kick towards half back and Henderson, who's had a pretty good game. You forget sometimes he's just 20 years of age and still got. A lot of football in front of him. He drives it towards full forward. Oh, good mark taken by Moore. Thought about going on with it and decided against it. So, can they get it out this time, Asprey? The natural inclination when they take a mark, the Tigers, is to go back on the mark, whereas Carlton, their first thought is, how can I play on and get this ball moving? It is. You make something happen when you roll off. You're yep. spot on. They're going sideways, had so many possessions. They've had equal possessions of Carlton, but, uh, you know, 10 less inside 50.